Hello friends, let us now learn some important points of collapse of the left upper lobe. If there is collapse of left upper lobe, this is actually different from that of right upper lobe. Because one important thing is that in the left right side we have a, a horizontal fissure. But there is no horizontal fissure in the right upper lobe. So obviously it is a little different from the right upper lobe. So this is the right lung. This is the hard border. Similarly you will see this has the left lung. Now in the left lung. Here you will see that some wheel like density is seen over the left hemithorax. So, number one, you will see presence of wheel like density, which covers or which is seen density seen in left hemithorax. Wheel like density is seen in left hemithorax. This is number one. Why? Because there is the reason for this is because there is no aeration in the collapsed upper lobe. Here there is no aeration in the collapsed upper lobe. So as a result, this is seen as a bee-like density in the left upper lobe. Then slowly this left heart border which is present, this left heart border is becomes blurred or obscured either has a part or has hole it is obscured and if you see the left hilum this left hilum is seen to be elevated okay it is this left hilum is elevated this is one more thing which is seen in left upper lobe collapse then one more important thing is left sichel sign here we have left sichel sign in this left sichel sign, here we have the bulb of iota. So, if you see here, we will have a bulb of iota, right? So, you will see presence of a radiolucent area is seen around the bulb of iota or iotic knuckle. Around the iotic knuckle, you will see a crescentric lucency. So, left sechel sign is presence of crescentric, that is round, lucency is uh, not white, it is blackish color is seen around the aortic knuckle. Okay, why is this left sechel sign occurs? This is because of the, here because the left upper lobe collapsed. So, what happens is whenever there is left upper lobe is collapsed so if you see if this is the left lung okay this left upper lobe has been collapsed that is number one here if this is the oblique fissure or whatever fissure or oblique fissure this left upper lobe has been collapsed now because of this collapse of the left upper lobe you will see that there is over expansion of the left lower lobe that too, the apical segment of the left lower lobe becomes expanded. So, in the left lower lobe, the apical segment gets expanded. So, this expansion, see, this is the left lower lobe. Here, you will see presence of aortic knuckle like this, right? So, now, because of the, so here, you will see the aortic knuckle like this. This is the hard border. Now, because of this expansion of the left lower lobe, this left lower lobe is seen something like this. So, this is the left lower lobe like this, like this. Here it is expanded. The apical portion is over expanded. And here you will see a radiolucency. This is the area where you see lucency is seen. Lucency is seen around So here, you can see is seen on the left side of aortic knuckle, and this you can see which is seen on the left side of aortic knuckle due to overexpanded lower lobe of left lung is called is called has left sechel sign. 
this is left sachal sign so if you see the picture in the picture see this upper lobe left upper lobe is um up left upper lobe is actually you will see some wheel like density is seen even here you can see presence of this wheel like density this one which you can see here this is the left sachal sign which is a crisscentric you can see which is seen which is called has left sachal sign here in the bulb of aorta which is present like this here you are seeing this lucent sign radio lucent sign which is called as left sachal sign this is because of the expansion of the apical segment of the lower lobe then in the lateral x ray you can see presence of this wheel like density which is seen anteriorly so here in the left upper lobe collapse these are the different appearances of collapse in the lateral x ray slowly has the so when this is what the way of progression of the collapse first this is the first stage where there is some amount of uh, collapse the segment is present with pus when the lobe becomes filled with full of secretions and pus you will see this and slowly those secretions will also get absorbed and so in such case you will see um, collapse segment to be like this so this is about the left lower lobe collapse thank you left upper lobe collapse sorry left upper lobe collapse thank you